All right, I'm going to talk about uh, fox hunting gear and what you might need if you want to get into this fox hunting or direction finding. My very first thing you're going to need is some receivers or a receiver. Um, the main thing with the receiver, it doesn't have to pick up digital. You don't need to worry about that. Analog receivers are fine. Um, but it needs to have an S meter. Having the S meter is best. You don't necessarily have to, but the S meter shows you the signal strength on the radio. So you can kind of get an idea of which direction the target is. And so it does help. If you don't have one without a signal meter, you're just going to have to go by the sound you hear. So um, these have S meters on them. That's super expensive. I wouldn't invest in that for, for doing this. Um, the Baofeng actually has an S meter. So keep that in mind. You can use the Baofeng for this. But first thing you need is a receiver. Next thing you need are antennas. This is the Aero Loop Fox Hunting Antenna. This antenna works quite well. So this is the VHF version. And uh, I put a video up on that. Very compact. Definitely want this. Want to have this. I made my own. Um, it does not work near as good. So I tested this against that. And uh, this one does not work near as well as that other one. There are videos how to make this on YouTube. Right. You're going to need another antenna, really. You really need both. You're going to need a Yagi. And uh, this is a 70 centimeter Yagi. So uh, like in the FRS, GMRS range, this works quite well. You could use it in the VHF range, uh, but having a VHF one will work better. But you definitely want a Yagi. Um, you, with a Yagi, you're gonna have to have some coax and to go to your radio. Now you can build a Yagi. So I built this one. This is for 2.4 gigahertz. It's made out of a dual post BNC connector. This is 14 gauge uh, electric fence wire. They got a couple connectors on those ones. And then a half inch PVC pipe. So you can make your two meter Yagi, 70 centimeter Yagi, just like this. There's a program online, a calculator. They'll give you exact links. You don't even have to do any math. It'll tell you all of it. So um, cheap Yagis are easy to do. Next equipment you're gonna might want to invest in is some attenuators. Attenuators, all right. These are passive attenuators. So this one knocks it down 30 dB. This one knocks it down 10. We can even run them in line if we have a super high strength signal and get 40 dB. Um, what these do is if you've got some a signal that's so strong that you can't your S meter isn't dropping you can put these in the line of your antenna so they go in between your antenna and your receiver and they will actually drop the strength so you can kind of then you can look at at s meter look at that s meter and you can finally see it dropping a little bit all right because that's how we judge uh where the signal's coming from by the signal strength on the s meter hence the reason for the s meter um, these are active attenuators so they do the same thing they go in line and then you turn them on and adjust the dial this one has specific instructions uh, you actually are four megahertz above the signal so this one is by arrow works quite well this one is by um, from bionics so it's all right i used it a little bit this one i think works a little better but anyway active attenuators all right next thing you're going to need which might be a surprise to some of you is a map and a compass all right because We'll just say that we're right here, and we think the signal's right here. We're going to take our compass, shoot an azimuth, get a line of bearing to what we think that is, and we're going to draw a line on the map. Then we're going to move to a second location. All right, we're going to take our equipment. We're going to say, I, I believe that signal's coming from this direction, and we're going to draw a line on the map. Then we want to really want to try to go third. All right, and we're up here. We think it's coming from here. Where those three lines intersect, that signal should be coming from there. So... This is definitely part of your fox hunting kit. All right, some optional equipment. This is a fox hunting transmitter. So this transmits. So if you got if you got a team of people and you just want to go out and practice, you don't want to use the NOAA weather and you want random times where it's going, so it's a little more difficult. This is a you can set this up to transmit as long as you want, random intervals. Um, it just does Morse code and you can program the frequency in. It's quite handy, it's a little expensive. You can do a little bit cheaper with this next option. Next is a, any radio and an APRS cable and a tablet or phone or MP3 player. And then you can just put in whatever you want in here. 
to play on a playlist and then it will play on the radio. Um, you can actually find MP3s of complete silence so you can get it to shut on and you know, kick on and kick off. So you just make a playlist, put the MP3 of silence in between what you want it to broadcast and then you can uh, it'll go on and off so it won't just constantly break broadcasting. It'll shut off and on. So that's the gear, the main gear for direction finding fox hunting.